My name is Daiwei Tikbechu. I want you to subscribe to Originality Entertainment TV. You will not regret it. You will thank me. Stand up to come and welcome your husband. Oh, sorry, you welcome hubby. <laughs> you will stop being funny. And you know something? I am famished. I am very, very hungry. Could you please go get me something to eat? I'm actually not with anything. Like I've been replying so much chats on social media and you know, I was about finishing when we ended in what and oh did you just hear yourself? You've been busy on social media and your friend came in and you've been busy? What? Is this what marriage should be? Rude. Okay, you know what? You can just go in, take your bath. Then you go to the kitchen, prepare something, I'm still hungry. in my own house should go inside off my clothes go to the kitchen and get something to eat is this what marriage is supposed to be Ruth where did I go wrong Keith and Meluki where did I go wrong Ruth this nonsense must stop I repeat it must stop and, and young lady what's your name uh, um, Ndidi. Ndidi. Are you married? Uh, n n not at all, sir. Oh, oh. You're embarrassing me. Oh, will you just shut up? I'll just go inside there now, off my clothes, and go outside and get something to eat. Nonsense. Beep. You don't even cook for your husband at all. It's not the both of us that have been just in here. Well, you know he's coming back from work. Hey, you know this is marriage. It's your husband. Is your husband, babe. What you're doing is no good, though. It's no good. And besides, I think I need to be different. Right? We are still just in now. What is it? Just in what? Just in what? Please, before I forget, go and cook food for your husband. See you later, babe. Ndidi. Ndidi. This is quite unbecoming. I can't take it anymore. 
Where are you going to? Ruth, where is the key to that door? You're not going anywhere. If you're hungry, you go in there and cook. What is even wrong with you cooking? Ruth, don't dare me. Don't dare me, Ruth. Hand over the key to that door now, or you go open it yourself. You are shouting, my friend. You are shouting. You are shouting. Uh -uh. You are hungry. Go in there and cook. I will not bring out this key. Neither will I go there to open this door until you go and cook for us to eat. Ruth, I'm, I'm losing it. I'm losing it, Ruth. I am not going to open this door until you go there. Cook for the both of us to eat. Why have you allowed the devil use you? Why do you allow the devil use you to torment me, Ruth? Please wait with you. All is well. Well, brother Jack said that she come and check on you. That you called him, though his friends were around, so he said she come and see you. I called brother Jack and not you. The purpose of why I called him is for him to do something very important that you cannot do. So why did he send you? Ah, uh, sister, what is that? What do you think I cannot do? Mosquito like you. Uh -uh. Anyway, do have anything in this house? Don't you in the house? You did not eat from where you're coming from, right? Now, what for you? Every time I go there, hash. See, my mind not pure now. Go your house, go chop. Not come my house, go chop. I'm going, no. Eh, go now. Who are you? Sister, I'm leaving, no. I see Mr. Keso. Go. He thinks he's too big to cook. He forced himself out of the house just to go and eat outside. <laughs> you see, in that house, I am not going to cook any food in that house until he changes. Since he wants us to be eating outside. Good. You want to be eating outside? Of course. That's Is that right? Means. I have food in my kitchen, made specially by me. Happy? But the truth is, I'm not giving you any food. Can you not cook for your own husband and you come to my house to give you food? My dear, that doesn't make sense at all. Didi, is he too big to cook? <laughs> no, but he's your husband. You expect a man to come back from work without no food. How do you expect him to go to the kitchen to cook when you have been at home all day? It's unfair. I can't really believe that you are always taking side with this man. I don't, I don't, I don't really know why. I don't just know why. Why? Why? I'm not taking anybody's side. I'm only advising you as a friend. You're making your man go outside to eat. He goes a woman snatching your husband from you. And it will cause problem between you and your husband. This is unfair. It's your husband, for God's sake. Ndidi, um, Ndidi, um, are you giving me the food to eat or not? <laughs> I'm sorry, baby girl. I'm not giving you any of my food. Good.
And where are you coming from by this time of the night? Who wrote you, Dami? Can you leave me alone? Just leave me alone. Let me go inside and rest. Who wrote you, Dami? What do you take me for? It? What kind of a spirit is making use of you? Ruth, I was home 40 minutes after I left the house. And you were not here. And this is four good hours now. So tell me, where in God's name are you coming back from by this time of the night? Are you actually asking me? Or oh, you are expecting me to answer this question? You should know that I, Ruth, will not answer that question. So I don't even know why you're wasting your time asking me that question. Please allow me to go inside and rest. Ruth, Please. I am losing it. You damn me, Ruth, and I am losing it. You are pushing me so far that I can tolerate. You don't want neighbors to hear our voice, Abby. You're looking for trouble. You know you don't like neighbors to hear our voice. But this time around, it seems like you want neighbors to gather for us. If you want it, I'll give it to you. Do you want it? Please just allow me to go inside and rest. Biko. Come back here. What kind of nonsense? Devil's incarnate. Don't worry, you will report it soon in due time. continue to happen. Your in-law who's supposed to be settling the disputes you have with your wife is the one messing you up like this. How come do you meet this woman? A wife who doesn't cook for the husband. A wife who doesn't take the clothes of the husband to the laundry. A wife who spends all day at home doing nothing. Come to think of it, where is she now? Darn, I... Take it, take it, take it. I don't know where she went to. I can't tell her where she is right now. But, believe me, this was not what I bargained for. This was not the kind of marriage 
kind of family I planned having. Okay. Oh. You really have to take it easy on yourself. Seriously, I can't take such attack from my in-law. How dare him lay his hands on you? Anyway, have you taken your drugs? Oh yes, I have. I'm done. Don't worry. I have my plans. Really? Yeah, for now. Huh? I'll fix it. Don't worry, don't worry, you'll be fine. Oh, oh sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry. Do you do you need anything? I'm okay, just go to the bank. Help yourself. Okay, okay. But I, I can't live in this kind of condition. Are, are you sure you are fine? Then go to the bar and help yourself. What's wrong with you? Why, why is it that each time you have misunderstanding with your own husband, you call your brother and his friend to attack him? Why? It's unfair. I did not tell my brother to attack Ken. He took that decision by himself. Do you get? And I don't really get it. Why, why, why is it sounding as if it's bad for my own brother to support me or to, to, to fight for me? You are the one that asked your brother to attack Ken. Come to think of it, how did your brother get to know that you and Ken had misunderstanding? Only God knows what you told him about Ken that made him attack him that way. Thank you, dear. Because if what happened, which I witnessed that day, is what you told your brother, he wouldn't have, he wouldn't have attacked Ken the way he did. Wait, what's really wrong with him fighting for her own sister? Mm. Who are you to talk? Nemo, oh, thank you very that. much. Eh. Thank you very, very much. Do you think I'm Why are the both of you always supporting him? I thought you're my friend and you should be supporting me. I wonder. So what is it? My dear sister, not when you are at fault. You are wrong in this one. You are maltreating that guy. I mean, you have to stop. It's not good. You have to stop. Yes, dear. Your husband may be a quiet guy. But it's just for a while. But you don't know what is in his mind. We all speak on domestic violence against our fellow women. And you, what are you doing? Domestic violence against your own man, which is your husband, for God's sake. What's wrong with you, Ruth? I don't really get this. Why are you sounding as if I am not your friend, and, and you hate me. I don't hate you, Ruth. I'm only advising you on what is right. It's your husband. I think it's high time I stopped giving you any single information about my family. Because it seems like you're beginning to become, um, what do I call it? In fact, you, you, you're something like you're jobless and you, and you don't even like me and, and we were not even friends. We are not even friends. And oh, oh yeah, wait, 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 just hold on, hold on. And then, please, from now, eh, do not come to my house again. I don't want you to visit me anymore. In fact, we are friends apart. I have said this, we are friends apart. Even it's better, me? no, 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 not you, ne. Mm -mm. not you. I'm Ruth. talking to this, 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 I'm giving your enemies chance to enter your camp.
how can you be a warrior and you give your enemies this kind of access? It's only a fool that learns how to shoot at the battlefield. You have to be prepared for battle before the battle begins. Can't you see I'm watching a program? What nonsense program are you even watching? What nonsense program are you watching now? Can't you see that I need your touch? Just a very simple sign, you can't even understand it. What is your problem? Ah. Hear it. Hear it. Which of the devils possessed you? The one from your village. I mean, which of the waters are you coming out from? Honey, the one from your village. If I can remember, I asked you for this last night and you denied me access to your body. That was because I was not in the mood and right now I need it. You were not in the mood last night? Yes. The same way you were not in the mood last night is the same way I am not in the mood now. Oh yes, I just came back from work and I need some rest. Okay, you're not in the mood right now. <laughs> Watch me go in there, change up to something very, very sexy, and I will go out there. Any man that asks of it, I will give it to him hot, hot, and hot. That's it. But you won't die. I will give him hot and hot. You won't die. I Watch me do it. You see, you I won't won't try. I will give him hot. Ruth, I said you won't try. And I will not try it. Not to this house. I will not try it. I will not try it. Ruth, I you said you won't try. try. Okay, wait. Ruth, Ruth, come back here. Come back here, Ruth! My lord. I think your sister needs to be talked to. Yes. My wife here needs to be talked to. You can't imagine my own wife, your sister, threatened going outside to meet another man. And after all I said, she couldn't stop. She left this house, going to see another man and coming back late at night. You can't imagine. Why would she be behaving like this? Though when she came back, I, I locked her outside, but it was not intentional. I still came out about a few minutes later to bring her inside. Lo and behold, she was nowhere to be found anymore. So I think you really need to advise her. If I will lucky, I'm not now. Eh? You know what I'm saying is true. Then you are an idiot. I mean, you are an idiot. You have no reason or any single right to lock my sister, your wife, out of her mother. What if something bad happens to her last night? So, okay. After all I did to you, you have not learned to respect my lovely sister, your wife. You are the one supporting your sister to disrespect her own husband. Yeah? You are the one giving her back up and standing as her backbone to maltreat her own husband anyhow. Is that how you live with your own wife in your own house? Now, let me ask you, what do you know about respect? Do you deserve any atom of respect? I am asking you, do you know how many rich guys my sister here rejected just because of you? Instead of you to accept her as a gift from above, you resent to making her feel bad always. That's why she runs to me every minute of the day, crying. Okay. Okay. Jack! I am not the only orphan on earth. Go back. You can push me for all I care. 
But I can't have you anymore insult me in my own house. You don't help me pay the house rent of this house. Oh, yes. And Jack, you know something? I am the man of this house. And for that reason, Jack, your sister here must be under me. Ah. <laughs> Pick him up. Without Pick breath. him. Pick him up. Just fold your arms like this and allow these people to end you like this. Are they trying to kill you or what? Hold on. The love of a native doctor, they say, does not mean that all is well. <laughs> yes. And you know that the gentle work of a tortoise. It's well respected that the foolish pants of a baby lamb. You are right. <clears throat> they want me to be scared of my wife. And they are doing this because I have no one to speak for me. Because I have no family. But still on that, I have my plans. Um. Listen, I always feel bad each time I see you complain like this. You are not the only person who has no family. You are not the only person who is an orphan who got married. You know, you are not the only one when you win when now. And this is not the kind of treatment other people out there get from their wife and in-laws. Do they want to kill you? No, 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 no. You don't have to. You don't have to continue like this, brother. I suggest to you as a good friend, you should report this case to the police. <sighs> Dan, keep the police out of this for now. Really? You see my body? You see my man? <laughs> hmm. It is now that they know that there are other richer men who would have married Ruth. Because of Ruth, I cancelled an opportunity of traveling abroad. And I stayed back in Nigeria. Don't worry, I have my plans. Um. My dear friend, I understand you very well. See, your wife, maybe it's because, maybe it's not because she, she loves you. Certainly, why those guys could not be able to marry her is because maybe they can't take what you are tolerating from her and the, the, your in-law. I'm telling you again, you don't have to keep quiet like this. You really need to report this case to the police. I believe they can do something about it. Dan, every day is for the thief. One day is for the owner of the house. I tell you again, I have my plan. There he goes again. You, you, you keep on telling me that you have plans. For how long do you intend to continue like this, my dear friend? Just in seven months, look at what these people have turned you to. 
No, 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 no. Ken, you really need to do something. If you don't want to do something, I will do something myself. I can't keep quiet and allow these people cheat you like this. And when you go face him, be a young man, be a young man, be a young man, be a young man. I'm going to send you my plans. Okay, my hurry out. Go ahead. Do you really love your husband? <laughs> That's a question, but if I don't love my husband, then why should I get married to him? Of course, I do love him. Oh, so the both of you have been gossiping about me, right? <laughs> well, I don't even care. I don't care. Well, if you don't care to know what the rest of the world says about you, it's okay. But if you don't care to know how your husband feels or thinks about you, you are getting it wrong, my dear. You are a married woman as such. You are supposed to care to know how your husband feels, what he thinks about you, Ruth. Men that gossip, they should be wearing skirts and wrapper. Now you can go ahead and say whatever you have in your mind. I don't bloody care. I don't. Oh. Um, see. If you don't want Ken anymore, maybe you should divorce him. There are so many women out there who are praying to have such a handsome and hand-working young man like him as their husband. But here you are, always calling that courtist of your brother, bringing him in in every misunderstanding you have with your husband. You, you really called my brother a courtist. Like you opened this your wide mouth to call my brother a courtist. <laughs> yes. No, 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 just wait though. He will hear that. But he's a no, courtist. No, 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 get ready for him, oh. Just get ready for him. He's a courtist. He's a courtist. You will get ready for that courtist because I'm sure what he's going to do to you. But is he not a courtist? You will wait for my brother. Your brother who knows who doesn't know him. Get ready for that. A very notorious criminal, as a matter of fact. Get ready for him. Listen, listen, listen. The fault is all about Ken, who is over pampering you and the rest of it. You are very lucky. Had even you are married to me, then I am on Mbakashi Adam Dom for all of You are a fool. Me? Yes, you are a fool. You are an idiot. Well, I don't have time to exchange words. I don't even have time to pass up with you.
Ruth, go and add more food to this food. This food won't do me. You should be happy I even gave you food to eat. Just because I'm in my good mood, that's why you're eating this food and you're here talking. Devil, you are a liar. I will overcome you. I know all your plans and your strategies. Ruth, if you're not going to add food to this food, I'll go right inside my kitchen and get food for myself. Mm -mm. If you touch my pot, if you touch that food in that pot, you will not like what you see, what you see this night. Don't even try it. If this food is not enough for you, you better leave it though. Leave it. Devil, I will overcome you this night. Amen. Oh, I am an overcomer. Ruth, it's obvious you don't want to give me food. I better go get food for myself before it becomes late. And if you step out from this house, just know that I will lock the door and you will not come back to this house this, this night. I hear every minute. And then you will not hear from my brother. Is that it, right? It is a promise. It is not pictured. So you mean uh, Ken, he don't sleep at one last night and you don't know where he slept? Yes, I came back yesterday evening and I didn't uh, meet him at home. So I was thinking probably he went to buy something or something to lead him on the road. So, but then I didn't see him all through the night and even this morning I have not st still seen him. And his phones are not even going. This is serious. So he didn't go to work today, I guess. No, today is Saturday. He doesn't go to work on Saturdays. I guess probably must have gone to Friday night club and maybe sleeping with one of those prostitutes by now. This is serious. You know what? That it's your to you call your husband. If not because of you, I don't want to make you a widow. His case is very little for me to handle. Anyway, you know what you do. Make sure you inform me once he gets to his house. Okay? Don't okay. fail. Okay? Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon. Are you Mrs. Ruth? Yes. I'm a delivery girl. I was sent to give you this letter. Okay. 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 I would like to take my leave now.
This one is going to be sit with me. See, because um, things have gone beyond repair. I thought you would come to my house. My dear, what advice do you want me to give to you again? You're not listening to any, you're not listening to anything I'm saying or any advice I'm giving to you. If you've been acting the way I told you, all this won't be happening. You'll be, you'll be fine with your husband. If you really see, what did you do? Wow. Ruth. So you want him to stay? So that your brother and his friends can kill him? Maria, you've killed his love for you already. So you have to run away from you. Do you want to kill him too? You know that I'm more the kind of friend that will bet worse for you so that you won't feel bad. I'm not like that. He has to run away from you, my dear. What are you talking about? Why are you just making me feel pretty? Instead of telling me things that will make me feel better, you're here telling me things that will make me feel guilty. You're guilty about what happened. You should be lucky that you have a husband like that. Do you think finding a good husband is that easy nowadays? It's not though, my dear. You think those guys that are, that, 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 that are telling you that they love you, that, that they'll spend the rest, the rest of the, their life with you, do you think they are the good ones? They're just coming to use you and dump you. Then go tell their friends the same trick they use on you. It's unfair. God forbid, it will never be my portion. Huh. Amen, amen, and amen. I pray that it won't be your portion. And I hope that you've learned your lessons. I can't think that I will die just because he has run away. But I'll prove him wrong. Whenever he returns from wherever he went to, outside the country, when he comes back, he will see me happier than what he went. Seriously. Things work out well for you. Hmm. Hmm. Baby, I warned you about that guy called for. I mean, he looks so unserious to me. His appearance, the way he walks, the way he talks. I mean, everything about him looks so deceitful to me. That's why I cautioned you to be careful with him, the way you move on with him. But you wouldn't listen. You were carried away by the love you have for him. You have to move on with your life. Okay? I never suspected that this guy would do this. Because when I started feeling uncomfortable was when he started giving me a series of excuses why he shouldn't take me to his house. And each time I, I ask him about taking me to his house, he'll tell me next week. By the time we get to next week, he'll tell me the upper week. Like, um, I, 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 had it been I knew where he was staying or where he stays, I would have gone there to check on him. But I, I don't. Hmm. This guy really prepared for this game. Like, he just came to like use and dump you. You know that when he stopped speaking my calls, I actually thought something wrong happened to him. Not until I used your phone to call him and he peeped. Chief. Guys are so wicked. So, so men are wicked. Very, very, very wicked. wicked. But, why should he do that to me? I, I loved him. <sighs> it is meant for you. Just forget about him. Okay? He, is, he has gone his own way. Just move on with your life. You, just, you have a long way to go there. Jamo! Yeah, Smoke. See, when you say I'm going to give you smoke every day, you're going to reject it. I know they like Jamo. I know they're happy. G, you know this game will be there here right now. Okay. I don't want to make you fuck up. I know what makes you fuck up at all. When I, I won't ask you one thing. I don't fuck up before. I trust you. I trust you. But for this one, you know that guy within the core chicken. My sister just called me. No, 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 no. 
team you see Chike don't break her heart. Hey, person don't buy market. And as she did now, she did house the cry. Person don't buy gym market. As you buy him, you go collect him. You know what you want me to do? You know what happened? Right now, somebody give me information. Say she gave a pass through this land. Now, 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 now. Ah. And I don't want to make you just fuck up. I want to make you finish and right here. Finish and. Chamo, Chamo. Yeah. To go away, make me and you, eh? You see that boy when you call Chike? I don't mark him face. As I don't mark him face, I go run him matter today. No, be saying that today. No, 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 no. I, I hear saying they come here. Not yet. Now, me and you, they're here now. Now, me and you, you're not from here. Now, you're in our area now. Don't worry. Don't be doing that. It's just saying my sister, now. Nah. Charitable home where they run happy. They say they run charitable home where we say you go just enter, collect, come out. No, you say your sister about who? No mind that. Uh huh. Today. Hey. Today we go we go here. Now today. Ah. What's it? Think that you will eat invade me with your bad friends. So you still can live at the talk, Abby? Huh? You're funny. 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 you of four different relationships. Like I said before, good men are hard to find these days. And if you're able to find one, you should have stick to him. Like stick to him. <sighs> my own, my own boyfriend. I don't think I'm ready to lose him in any way. Can you even recall how many times your brother and his friend assaulted Ken physically? Even to Chike, they assaulted him once, but they were all arrested by the anti court. And right now, they are still investigating on that case. And I heard that they did a lot of crimes, like a lot, which might lead them to be jailed. And babe, the truth is that you are the cause of all this. You're really the cause of all this. It's bad. I, I really wish I can see Ken so that I'll I apologize to him. It's okay. Kim was the best man I've ever had. I understand. But I didn't treat him very well. <sighs> um, now I'm faced with reality. Having dated a lot of people after him and then still. I'm just tired of all this shit. Just break things work out to all just because <sighs> Hello, my 
good friends and family and people of the world. Please, I want to use this opportunity to say hi to all you who have been so supportive and blessful to us, to our YouTube channel. So I want to use opportunity to tell us how to speak on important notes. Please say no to home violence. These have destroyed many homes. These has put many on prison, in prison. Many, many, these have put many on disastrous life. So please say no to home violence. That beautiful lady that's in your hands, please manage her well. That beautiful man that is in your life, please manage him very well. Don't think that he can't survive without you. He can survive somewhere else. So please say no to home violence. Love that man and build a better relationship with him. Because you never can tell. He can survive some way when you say, oh, he can't do without me. He can do without you some way. So please, and again, please go and get vaccinated if you have the opportunity. Please, you need to be safe. You need to be safe. You need to make our environment safe. And please share our video, send it to your loved ones, like it, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Originality Entertainment. We need to grow with you. Please be safe wherever you are. Bye-bye for now.